In this video tutorial, an introduction to MATLAB will be presented. MATLAB is a high-level programming language for engineering and scientific computations. MATLAB allows metrics manipulation, plotting of functions, creation of user interfaces in the form of GUI, and also MATLAB allows the interfacing with programs in other languages such as C and C++. The user interface of MATLAB is divided into windows, the largest of which is the command window, which allows the user to input MATLAB commands. We also have the workspace window, which displays the variables currently available in memory. The command history window displays the previous commands executed and finally the current folder window displays the files associated with MATLAB. There are two ways we can create code within a MATLAB programming environment. Either we write our code within the command window or we write our code within an M file and the M file is actually a source file that will contain the MATLAB program. First we will use the command window to write a simple program. This program will convert the temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. First we define our Celsius. Next we will write the equation for F, the Fahrenheit. If you have noticed I have not included the uh, end of statement semicolon meaning that when I press enter we will see the computed value of F which is 89.6 Fahrenheit. Notice also on the workspace window we have two variables in memory C and F with their uh, associated values. Now to clear the uh, variables from memory we can use this MATLAB command clear which will then remove the variables from memory and we can also clear the command window screen by using the command CLC. MATLAB also has built-in mathematical functions. Uh, for example, the factorial function can be used to return the factorial of an integer. So for example, factorial of 4, you can see that the answer is 24. MATLAB also allows the programmer to work with vectors and matrices. So for example, we can create two vectors A and B, and then we can add these vectors and see the result. As you can see, we have two vectors with four elements, and we can uh, add the two vectors and put the result in a third vector C. MATLAB also allows the programmer to work with matrices. For example, we can define matrix A, which could be a 3x3 three three matrix. Now we can use the built-in MATLAB function inverse to find the inverse of matrix A. To do more serious programming, we need to contain our MATLAB code within a source file which is called here script also known as mfile to create a script we can go to file new script now let's write a simple program that will ask the user for an integer number and then the program will compute its factorial and display at the output now the output will be displayed on the command window. This is an input statement using the function input which allows the user to input a number through the command window. Text can also be added uh, to give instructions at the input. Next a for loop is used to compute the factorial. Finally function disp is used to display the value of the factorial. To run the code we will click here the 
play button now the MATLAB will ask the user to save the program uh, let's give a name for the script let's call this fact short for factorial and now you can see that the command window appears and the instruction enter an integer number appears let's say we want to find the factorial of 5 and the answer is displayed 120 this concludes this video tutorial